This is a proven system to turn one long form video into 20 pieces of valuable content in under 10 minutes. So if you are a creator, a coach or an entrepreneur who values efficiency and wants to get the maximum output out of their content while reducing their time and stress, then this is going to be the tutorial you will want to pay attention to. So before I dive into how you can make this happen, there's a few things I need to mention is you need three accounts in order to, well, do this. Number one, make.com. Number two, Google Drive. And number three, open AI. Note that sending requests to open API will incur small charges. You can see all the details on the API pricing page linked in the description below. But we're talking about small charges only for a few cents per request or less. Additionally, every open AI account includes a $5 credit for API usage. If you've already used up that complimentary $5, then log into OpenAI API portal, go to billing overview and add a payment method. There's no set monthly fee to use the API. Instead, you'll be charged for your usage every month. You also need a free Google Drive account in order to make this happen. So let's go ahead and move on to the full breakdown of how this automation works. Okay, so let me first paint the picture of how this automation works. There's about five steps here that the automation is going through. Number one, it is watching files in a specific folder. So after I record a video just like this, I will upload that file to a folder. So let's say I call this folder new videos, right? That's the folder, okay? And I will upload that file to that folder. What then the automation will do is download that file and send it to OpenAI to transcribe the file because ChatGPT can't read a video or audio file. You have to transcribe it first. So the first action transcribes it. Then what it does, it actually then throws it into a ChatGPT chat like, and gives it prompts to then create the repurposing of the content. And the final product is this. You get YouTube titles, YouTube description, time codes, Facebook posts, Twitter posts, link, um, Instagram um, carousel ideas, you name it, okay? So that's what this automation will do. Now, I'm gonna walk you through every single step so that you know what you need to do so you can make this happen. So the first thing you wanna do is set up your Google Drive folder. Okay, so you want to go ahead, go to your Google Drive account, create a folder that you know you're going to be uploading all your content to. This will work with a video or audio file. There's, but there's a caveat to this, that using OpenAI, right, because it's by usage, the larger the file, the longer the the video, the more usage you will use. So depending on how large of a file you upload, you will need a bigger budget. I have uh, a content agency. And so because I do large volume of videos and audios, I have a lower budget. And so, uh, so I can feed the beast that is all the content that I need to make. But for you, if you're just doing this for yourself, you can bump up the budget so that you can upload higher quality uh, content or higher file sizes. So as an example, I'm uploading uh, audio files because it's lower file sizes and I have a limit based on my budget of 26 megabytes. So just note that there will be, if you come across that limit, you just need to up the budget, okay? So create your Google Drive, call it whatever, but just make sure you know that this is the spot where you upload the videos and it's gonna output the um, final product, which is the Google Doc, which will be, then be all the repurposing, okay? Once you've created that, now we can go ahead and create our sequence. So we'll go here, we'll go to our home tab, we'll create a new sequence. And first thing we wanna create, we wanna look up Google Drive, we'll click onto this, watch file inside a folder, excuse me. <clears throat> so we don't wanna watch all files, we wanna watch a file in a, uh, so trigger when a file is created or modified in a selected folder. This is the one we want, okay, it's important. So if you haven't already um, connected, uh, so you see Kyler making a .ca, um, that is already connected to my Google Drive account. So if you haven't done that, uh, you wanna do that, right? Then you can go ahead and uh, click here. It's default is by created time. I wouldn't change that, keep that the same. Choose drive, 
I only have one Google Drive, so um, I don't want shared Google Drive or Google shared drive. I just want my Google Drive. And then I will select the folder. So if I go here, I'm gonna select the folder. So I'm gonna go to making an agency. We're gonna go to clients and we're gonna go to Kyler Miles because I'm a client. And then we're gonna go to the new folder that we just created called new videos. I'm gonna watch all types, right? And we're gonna limit to two. Perfect. Press OK. Now, go ahead and click on the side here where we want to create the next thing. So the next thing we need to do is now we've uploaded it, but ChatGPT needs us to download the video. So look up Google Drive again, tap here and download file. So downloads a file. So this is very simple, very easy. Same thing um, we want to uh, and what we're doing, the file ID, you're just going to name it the file ID here. Really, really simple. Okay. Now, now that we've downloaded the file, we're then going to throw it and transcribe it. So what we want to look up is chat GPT, right? We're going to open, we're going to choose this open AI and we want to transcribe it. So we want to find the create transcription. Here we go. Create a translation. No, create a transcription from audio to text. Okay. That's what we want. Boom. So, don't change this. If it's clicked on map, make sure it's make sure that it, uncheck that. Make sure it's clicked to, to the downloaded file. You don't need to put a prompt. You don't need to change anything. Just press OK. Everything should be fine there. The next step is now we want to put it into prompts so we can turn the transcription into content, right? So again, we're going to go to OpenAI and we're going to go to create a completion, which is actually doing the prompt. Okay. So again, if you haven't connected it to your chat GPT already, you want to go ahead and press add and then authenticate and add that. And, and you want to connect your, uh, open AI account to make.com so we can make the automation. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is select the method. So I have chat GPT four. And so, um, the method I'm going to do is and, and don't do this, create chat completion. That's what we want and the model, right? And there's a lot of different models. So if you're paying for ChatGPT, I highly recommend you do ChatGPT4 because that's the most powerful one. But because it's the most powerful one, it also is the most expensive. So another alternative is the Turbo 16, which is less expensive, but it's um, a it's like a nice in between between the free ChatGPT3 and the more expensive ChatGPT4. Turbo is a nice medium. Right. I use ChatGPT4 um, because I want the best quality content because it represents my business, my brand. And so I'm willing to invest and spend that money. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is under messages. This is when you're talking to ChatGPT. So I'm going to go ahead and add a message. Now it's important that you describe what you are doing. So assistant user and system, the first message needs to tell the system what it is I want it to act like, right? So if you ever watched, you know, tutorials on YouTube on how you can get the best out of ChatGPT, you give it a role, you give it an identity. And so this is where we're going to be creating an identity. And for, you know, speed up this process, I've already created that pro I've already created that identity. So let's open it up. Okay. So under message one, we have systems. You are an expert social media copywriter and marketer. You know how to repurpose content and turn and turn, I should say, turn them into, into viral social media posts. Okay. Now all these prompts and all these messages are going to be linked in the PDF or not the PDF in the notion doc below. So make sure you can look at that. Right. The next part is if we go back to our uh, session is we're going to add a second message, right? And this time we are going to be using a user, not system. So before, right, as we see, let me just, cause this is our existing one, right? And then this is the one that we're building. Okay. So in our existing one, we use system to tell the system how we want it to act. The next message is we want to, we are the user asking the system to do an action. Okay. So what we're asking for is four actions. Number one, read through the transcription. Very important. Number two, understand the transcription in depth and write me five viral and short YouTube titles that spark curiosity. The best type of titles on YouTube are ones that spark curiosity. OK, 
okay? Next, number three, is write out a brief YouTube description summarizing what the transcription is all about. Four, write out detailed time codes and chapters to put on my YouTube, right? So this is a prompt, again, that's gonna be in the, um, in the description. Now, important note, this is the mistake I made. You have to make sure you include, so when I click here, you see how this menu pops up? You wanna make sure you include the text from OpenAI, from the transcription. So before I didn't add it and I wasn't getting, it, it, it I wasn't working. And that's because basically this is like, imagine if you open up ChatGPT, you're giving it the prompt, but you're not giving it the transcription. So you have to add the text from the transcription. Okay, very, very important. So make sure you uh, click on it below and you add this green text from, um, it says create a transcription. So you're adding the text of the transcription. The third message that I used is I wanted to write a Facebook post. And again, to save time, I'm not gonna go through this prompt. You can just copy it. The last one, um, actually the two more I made, pardon me, is for tweets. And the last one is for Instagram carousels. Now you can add like unlimited messages. You can add like if you wanted a LinkedIn post, a Facebook post, a Twitch, you know, a YouTube, um, uh, so what I say? Uh, you want Instagram carousel, you want LinkedIn, you want a Facebook, you want Twitter, um, whatever social media app, you can create unlimited messages virtually that you can create hundreds of pieces of content. You just, uh, the messages are basically open chat um, boxes that you're chatting with ChatGPT, okay? So once we've created this, these roles, we can go ahead and, uh, oh, almost forgot. So um, the last thing, uh, let me minimize this so it makes more sense. So the last thing is uh, maximum tokens. All you need to do is press zero. Sometimes you can press one. All this is, is um, defaulting to what uh, your open AI API is done, is using, and that's the best way to do it. So just put zero here, press okay. Okay, so now that we've created the folder, we've downloaded the file, we've created the tra transcription, we've now embed, we've told ChatGPT how it should act, and then we've given it all the prompts. The last thing we need to do is create, well, the Google document. So we'll do Google doc, okay? And we'll go create a document, okay? Again, it needs to uh, connect to your Google Drive account. So if you haven't done that, press add. Name, usually the, I just put it the name of the, the file. So I'll put the name of the video file, right? And again, Google Drive, the download file. So I just put the name. The content is we want the results from the prompts, okay? Very important, we want the results from the prompts. So name, content, we want choose your drive, Google Drive, and then we pick this where we want um, this to be selected. Now, another mistake I made was I added it to the same folder where the videos were, but then that Fs up the sequence because this watches for any file in that folder. So you don't want to add it to the same file. You want to add it to a different file. So again, I went from making a happy agency, clients, Kyler Miles. Now before I went into new videos, but we're not going to do that. We're going to put it in here. Okay. So now this is the complete sequence that we're going to do. So now that we have the complete sequence, let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Okay, the automation has completed the tasks and let's go ahead and look at the folder. Okay, we have a new file right here and we open it up. Look at that. YouTube titles, YouTube description. We got time codes and chapters. We have a Facebook post. We have a, a tweets and we have an Instagram carousel post. And that is how you do it. That is how you can repurpose one long form video into 20 plus pieces of content in under 10 minutes. I hope you found this valuable. If you want to learn more on how you can do this without the automation, like more manual, I have another video that you can check out and watch right now here on YouTube. So go ahead, click on that video and check it out. Hopefully you find it valuable. Peace.